Decades after the Integra model helped launch the Acura brand, it's back with an updated look and powertrain since the last production model was produced in 2001. Now sharing the same front wheel drive only platform and engine as the Civic Si, this elite A-spec trim with optional six speed manual transmission is producing 200 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque with active rev match, all coming from a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. You can also go through your infotainment system to select your preferred responsiveness of the engine from comfort, normal, and sport. If you're uncomfortable driving a manual transmission, a CVT is standard and offers a slightly better fuel economy and pricing. Look down in the description for a side-by-side -side comparison in pricing and fuel economy between the CVT and the manual transmission option. Although four trims are available, this top trim Elite A-Spec with manual transmission with technology and carbon package elevates the Integra's overall look. First, the dual eye LED headlights with chicane style daytime running lights up front and rear tail lights look amazing. The gloss blacked out front grille with emblems on the optional platinum white pearl paint stand out but it's the optional carbon package which I have that really takes this Elite A-Spec trim to a whole new level. But to look this cool, it will cost you more and that's before you factor in the wheel and tire options. That said, the Integra Elite A-Spec comes equipped with standard 18-inch wheels like I have, but you could spend roughly $2,100 to $3,100 more to upgrade to the larger 19-inch sport wheel package. Just make sure at time of purchase to look at which tire compound you are purchasing because if your Integra is equipped with summer performance only tires, you will definitely need to negotiate another set of tires for the fall and winter months. If you're uncomfortable driving a manual, then not to worry. Like I previously said, a CVT is optional and comes equipped with paddle shifters or click the link above. I created a video for you just to show you how easy it is to drive a manual transmission. But I highly recommend the A-Spec trim with technology package because then you also receive Acura's adaptive damping system with individual mode. And this helps you to customize your Integra more than just the standard comfort normal and sport driving modes. Also keep in mind with the manual transmission you will lose your remote starter feature and this allows you to preheat and cool your cabin in advance but regardless if you go CVT or manual transmission every trim is equipped with Acura's precision 10.2 inch fully digital driver cluster display and it looks amazing. It really does make sense to purchase the A-Spec trim with technology package regardless of which powertrain you choose to purchase. The A-Spec trim really is just your appearance package, but the technology package includes a higher degree of safety. But regardless of trim level, all Integras come equipped with Acura Watch, which includes forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert, just to name a few. But with the manual transmission option, you receive adaptive cruise control, but lose low speed follow and traffic jam assist. If you're the type of driver who prefers more tech and convenience, then I highly recommend the Elite A-Spec trim because it comes as standard with a heads up display. Your infotainment screen is the upgraded nine inch touch screen. It also offers built in Alexa and Wi-Fi hotspotting. In this particular trim, you also receive the ELS 3D audio sound system, which is incredible. And then Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and wireless mobile charging are all just that, wireless. You also receive these incredible looking seats which are synthetic leather with built-in ultra suede and they feel really, really good. Both seats are power operated. The driver's seat offers memory support. They are heated, not ventilated, and the steering wheel is also heated. Also with the Elite trim, you receive double the amount of connectivity throughout. So up front here, you receive one USB, one USB-C, and one 12-volt port. 
Call it a hot hatch, a coupe, or Acura's preferred a lift back body design. The profile looks good, and believe it or not, trunk space is absolutely impressive. One competitor to the Integra is the Audi A3, and this model doubles in available cargo space. Look down in the description below, and I'll provide you with side-by-side -side comparisons. Now, overall, payload capacity is 850 pounds, and that includes what you can store on top and inside with passengers. If you require more space and your cabin isn't full, well, the seats fold in a 60-40 split, but you'll have to walk around the side to manually put those down. Back here, there is no additional connectivity, but here on the left-hand side, you do have a small storage space. And then underneath your trunk floor, you'll find additional small space for items and your tire mobility kit. The Integra is classified as a five-seater compact sports sedan, but let's be honest, two individuals are going to fit comfortably back here unless you have a small family. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm only five foot three, so I'm really short and I usually never complain about leg or head space, but if you have taller teenagers or you travel with a taller adult guest, it's gonna get tight. Now these seats back here are heated in the Elite A-Spec trim, but only on the exterior positions to turn on the heating for your seat. Just use the button located up here. Um, they are also fixed, so they don't move forwards and backwards. They only recline, as I've already demonstrated. As for storage, again, as you would expect from a compact sports sedan, it's really small and narrow on the side of those front doors and your front center console really, really small. And then back here, of course, you can only fit one cup or one bottle on either side. And when nobody's sitting in the middle, you can take advantage of your two traditional cup or bottle holders. Behind only the front seat passenger, you'll receive a pretty decent sized pocket, but there there is no pocket behind the driver's seat, which is a preference of mine because then there's just less distraction. And previously I mentioned how in the Elite A-Spec trim you receive additional connectivity, and that is true. Back here you receive two USB ports. Remember to look down in the description. I provide you with all your shortcuts, making your purchasing decision easier for you, and you'll be able to see side-by-side -side comparisons to the Acura Integra's competitors. Now, last few features before I hit the road. I've already mentioned that these seats in the Elite A-Spec trim are power-operated and heated, not ventilated, and your steering wheel is heated. Across all trims, you receive a small sunroof. So this sunroof is manual to open and then power-operated. The steering wheel does offer some pretty good character for a small sports sedan. On the left hand side, you'll find your voice commands and the buttons for your audio sound system. And you'll be able to customize the left hand side of your fully digital driver cluster. On the right hand side, this is where you'll find your adaptive cruise control settings and you'll be able to customize the right hand side of your fully digital driver cluster. Remember with the Elite A-Spec trim, you also receive a heads up display as standard. Now this is what I highly recommend when you're sitting with your Acura specialist and before you hit the road. So like I previously mentioned, this infotainment system in this particular trim is nine inches. It's a touch screen. It's a swipe through. But if you don't like all or some of your driver assistive technology, you have to set up in advance your driver assisted features. So you have to go through your vehicle settings icon. This is super important. So click on that icon and then you can decide which driver assisted tech you like or don't like and you'll be able to set up your heads up display too and a, a bit more features. But when you're driving on the road, that vehicle settings icon will not work for you. The only thing you can do is actually change your driving modes. That said, now let's hit the road so I can provide you with my final impressions from this past week. 2023 Acura Integra, and man, does it feel good to be back behind the wheel of a manual, especially 
when it has a short throw shifter. This is awesome. I mean, this A-spec trim, remember I'm in the Top Trim Elite 2 with that uh, adaptive damping system, individual mode, like, it, it, it's really aggressive. Like, the steering is heavy, it's instant, it's responsive, doesn't matter if you're in sport mode or if you're in comfort or normal. It's so much fun to drive. But all that aside, if you have a bad back, this is not the car for you because you can literally feel every bump and crack and pothole and everything. I absolutely love it. I also love this interior because these ultra suede inserts on the seats or in the seats, it really hugs you in, right? So you're not sliding all over the place. So that's really, really nice. The only thing I don't like about this vehicle is this infotainment system because I like to sit like a gangster. I like to sit real low. This is forcing me to sit up higher and straighter and like a normal driver to be able to see over it, right? So I prefer an infotainment system which is um, inserted into the dash, but that's just my own personal preference. As for the rest of the visibility, it's good at the front and the sides. There's no blind spot. I mean, let's be honest, small, compact uh, sedan, right? But remember, you do have blind spot monitoring and remember, you have to go through your infotainment system to set up your driving assistive technology preferences because you cannot play with it when you're driving, right? So huge thing to remember right there. But overall, I love it. If, if you're not familiar with manual, I highly recommend that you watch my video teaching you how to drive a manual because it's easy. I mean, the CVT transmission, I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be more affordable and fuel efficiency or fuel efficient, I should say, but this is just so much more fun. And then lastly, noise quality. It's loud in here. I'm, I'm not speaking loudly because I want to. It's just so you guys can hear me, right? But what I like to do in all my videos is recommend a test drive because test drives are complimentary. Don't forget to look down in the description and make your purchasing um, experience easier for you. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss how to Tuesday or Future Car Friday. Thanks for watching, guys.